Well, during his remarks today, the Attorney General Jeff Sessions warned that if Maryland insists upon becoming a sanctuary state, crimes like the horrifying alleged rape we saw in Rockville, Maryland will recur again and again. Maryland is talking about a state law to make the state a sanctuary state. Uh, the governor is opposed to that, I'm glad to hear. That would be such a mistake. I would plead with the people of Maryland to understand that this makes the state of Maryland more ri at risk for violence and crime, that it's not good policy. Congressman Bob Goodlatte of Virginia is chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, not a small job. His committee is trying to find out why the two Rockville rape suspects were able to settle in the United States in the first place, since neither appears to have been here legally. The chairman joins us now. Mr. Chairman, thanks for coming on. Great to be with you, Tucker, so, and your viewers. Well, no offense to you who works in the government, but it seems like government is heavily implicated in this story. Both these guys were in government custody, one of them at least four times. And yet, I don't hear anybody talking about the failures of the U.S. government to keep its population safe. Well, it's an absolute failure of the U.S. government. No question about it. A failure of the Obama administration to enforce our immigration laws. And I love hearing Jeff Sessions talking about respect for the rule of law uh, and abiding by the law and protecting people and keeping them safe. This is a totally preventable crime that occurred in Maryland, and it happens all over the country, and it happens very frequently, uh, and it is the result of sending the message, not just here in this country, but to Central America and elsewhere in the world. You come to our border, we're going to release you into the interior of the country. And that is now changing with this new administration, and it's actually very exciting. We've seen a steady decline, a 40 percent decline in February of uh, border apprehensions, a 60 percent decline in March. Uh, and if they keep enforcing the law and keep sending people home where they belong, particularly these unaccompanied minors, when you pick them up at the border, you should make sure they're safe safely return home uh, as rapidly as possible. That's certainly not what was done they in the Obama administration. They wound up more than 2,000 miles from where they entered. It's not clear how they did that. It's also not really clear how old they are. One of them is being treated as a minor because he says he's 17. How exactly would we know that, necessarily? Uh, they often don't know because they show up at our border without uh, any kind of documentation in most instances. Uh, they're then processed uh, and released into the interior of the country. One of these uh, two young people was held for a few weeks and then released. The other was released in a few days, uh, and they were actually think actually delivered by our government, one to a father, one to an uncle. Uh, I understand the father has now been uh, arrested by uh, ICE, uh, or actually by the local sheriff in Maryland, and, and is going to be turned over to ICE to be processed, to be deported out of the country, because the, the child was turned over to a father who's unlawfully present in the United States. They're both headed home, I hope. It doesn't seem like anyone cares. I mean, all the focus in the press and, and on the other side of the aisle seems to be on the victims of enforcement of immigration laws, but it, it somehow is bad manners to mention the Americans hurt by the consequences of this. Why is that? You're, around, you're in the Congress every day. What do you think well, that's about? First of all, I don't think uh, it's true that no one cares about this. I think a lot of people care about it, and I think that's one of the main reasons why Donald Trump is president of the United I States right. today. Uh, so I think but the that press doesn't care. I mean, it's, it's considered bad form, or you're a nativist if you point this out. Something actually happened? You know, I've had uh, some reporters from uh, the Rockville area and the D.C. area, as a matter of fact, covering this story, uh, show some real concern about the consequences of this case. I think it brings it home well, uh, that people, uh, that this kind of thing can happen when you don't enforce our immigration laws. And we don't respect the rule of law. Can the feds really shut off the the financial tap to cities that, that ignore federal law? Absolutely. I'm sure that uh, the liberals meeting in New York will encourage uh, uh, some of these cities to fight it every step of the way, so we're headed back to court, no doubt. Uh, but the law is very clear that you are required to cooperate, uh, and even the last attorney general acknowledged to our uh, chairman of our appropriations subcommittee with regard to the these funds that those funds could and should be cut off if cities did not cooperate. We'll see. Bob Goodlatte, Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Thanks a lot, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Tucker.